my god listen to my body cheer lady how much you can see chubbies oh my god Hi, good morning. Girl, not all the chit chat, and I just forgot Sorry. where I was going. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, my God. flight is delayed now till noon. It was originally supposed to leave at 9.30, so now boarding is at 11.25. Yeah. We might as well go back to the, the lounge. We might as well. We're not leaving. Thank God for the lounge, honey. Listen, go ahead and lounge me. What? The lounge was comfortable, too. The lounge was comfortable, too. You gotta, you gotta lug all these bags back to the lounge. Listen, yeah, the bag never, is heavy. Never carry the bag is heavy, okay? You trying to travel in style, you got all this stuff with you. The good thing we have our stuff because noon. I guess I can edit video. I guess I can start editing this video. She wanna know me. I stay low key. I'll cast no breaks, baby. Let them hold sleep. Body on to make your girl OD. I get in my way, never out of my lane. Feel like you the one in the more one. So what is gonna be? Baby squad up. We finna go deep. day we didn't do as much as we wanted to do because of the fact that our flight was delayed so that really that really did mess things up that really messed us up and after we we came outside try to get pictures by the pool that didn't work out because the pool was closing and then we it was just a lot like we had settled into the room we settled into the room, we showered, we, we took content in the room, showered, tried to come down to the pool. That didn't work out because the pool was closed. Then we went to eat and then it, it was windy. I didn't I didn't anticipate it being so cold at night. I should have known, but I didn't. And so I was cold, but that's just me. I'm always cold. And then we went to the room, we just chilled out. We just chilled, took some more content, called it at night. So today we're, we just worked out. And then we're gonna go to, there's some conference people. We're gonna go to Starbucks, we're gonna walk to Starbucks. And then uh, go to the design center, design district, and then come back. It's it's this is really a leisure content trip, right? We're always working. Come back, go to the pool. We didn't get to go to Versace Mansion to eat dinner because we were delayed two hours. It just messed us up. And then we forgot the time zone difference. So when we booked our time, we didn't realize it was going to end up being one hour 
it just it's just too much <laughs> okay it's just too much confusion so the time zone difference messed us up a little bit but oh there's a conference having a staff meeting oh, very lovely so yeah anyway it's a nice breezy time right now i am I'm pulling out it's a short trip because our flight tomorrow is mad early so really it was two and a half one and a half days it's one and a half days it's not a lot and i'm realizing that when you get to your location on day one it's not a full day so day one really does just need to be chill i'm gonna wash my hair and get ready for later so that's the update there I'm still drowsy but a little bit of anything all right now we're on our way to go to starbucks up the water bearer sign but all the elements live in free in my mind Moody. here we are on our way now to the design district thank you carol hi hopefully the sound is good because of the wind i don't know good morning how are you going on all right i normally because it's white over here we can go on this side or what color background do you like white white tint i feel like we need a little little something, little something. okay we're here now scoping out i wonder what's being shot in here Please, the, the oh, camera. No. Okay. Thank oh, no. Oh, sure, sure. Can I get uh, napkins, please? Sure. Oh, she didn't want to do that. Okay, now we're back and we're going to go to this pink place to have lunch. Oh, yeah. today. <laughs> I want to go and see places because Absolutely. I don't know, Miami is getting so expensive, so yeah. and then Texas is a little bit more cheap. Than, Absolutely, it's a lot cheaper. Yes, I, I hear like a lot of people from California, yeah. New York, and even from here, they are moving to Texas. Absolutely. And still you can get like, a, I mean, maybe buy a house or Absolutely. something. And Absolutely. here, no, it's getting so expensive. Yes. Wow. Cheer, ladies. Thank you. Yeah. Actually, the car's here. Thank you. Thank you so much. Bye. Okay. Good. How about you? Oh my God. So I ordered DoorDash an hour ago, over an hour ago, and it was from Hooters because it was so windy outside. Eating upstairs was just not even a. It's very windy. I mean, I know it's February, but it's extremely windy, and I'm so cold. It was mad windy, and the bar was closing at the pool, so we decided to come to the lobby because they're having wine hour, so free wine for an hour. And I've had two glasses. I'm feeling tipsy. I need food. My intention was to order the food to be here before six, and then I would eat my wings. The food never came because Hooters said that they didn't have any smoked wings. I do smoke because I don't want the breaded, fried and the smoke is so good they don't have any smoke wings if you took my order and then now the driver is there and said there's no smoke wings why is it why is the item still on the menu so the driver calls me and i'm like okay so they cancel the order and i ordered naked wings which i believe is the same but just not smoked so i'm waiting on my naked wings well i'm i've been sitting here for two hours two hours okay i'm drowsy because the alcohol makes me drowsy, but I'm sleepy. And we decided to go to the Versace Mansion because we need to go to the bar. Because yesterday we couldn't go because we 
it, our day was delayed. Our day was delayed because of the two hour delay. So we're gonna go to the Versace Mansion bar after I eat. But now I'm like, oh my God, how's my stomach gonna behave after I eat wings? Like I wanted there to be downtime for the food to dissolve. I mean, yeah, I've had a procedure, but I'm very cognizant of and just sensitive to, I don't know how this is gonna look, you know? And my outfit doesn't go with a garment. Like it doesn't go with the whole skims thing. So, and to be honest with you, I haven't worn a garment all day today. That is unusual. I never do that. But everything that I wore today couldn't go with a garment. So this morning I went to the gym. I didn't wear a garment. Then went to the design district. I had on that that Versace bodysuit. I forgot that it was a low back, so there was no garment. I, I, or the skims. I call the skims. There was none of that. Then I went to the pool. I had on a two piece. There's no garment. And then I've been sitting here for two hours. And then tonight my dress has a little keyhole in the middle. There's no garment. So and. The good thing is I don't have to, but I gotta tell you, I don't feel comfortable because I'm used to wearing a garment, so there's that piece. But I don't feel terribly swollen. I'm just not as comfortable as I would like to be. The thong skims thing is very high cut and it isolates out my hips and makes it look chubby. So, uh, I don't know. Ooh, but look at this sexy thing coming down. She went upstairs and she showered and everything. That's how long I've been sitting down here, two hours. You were able to go back up, get changed, look cute and everything. That's a shame. and back from massage therapy. So I have a massage, I took off my skim situation. Obviously I have a massage and I just decided to keep it off while I came home because that this thing <laughs> is so tight in the best way. I know it's supposed to be tight, but it's so annoying having to always take it on, take it off, put it on, take it off, put it on, take it off. And then when you gotta go number two, the whole thing gotta come off. It don't have enough space like the surgical one does. So the whole shebang gotta come off. That's annoying, yo. Anyway, so because I just had the massage, uh, uh, I just kept it off. I have decided to keep it on sometimes to go to the gym and it's okay. I, at first I just was irritated by the whole creasing thing, but now I just keep it on like whatever. It, it does feel fine. It doesn't move. It doesn't do any of that. But yo, I just keep on looking at myself because everything is a huge shock. This is a huge shock. You feel me? And um, anyway, I'm about to shower again, obviously because of the, I showered this morning before the gym. I'm going to shower obviously because of the gym and then the massage, all the creams that she, not creams, oils and gels for the machines that she put on me is just too much. And I know that that's what has to be done. Anyway, this is my last week of two sessions for the massage. So this was my second massage today. Next week starts once a week for four weeks. So it was like every day for a month, something like that ish. And then it was twice, it was like three times a week, then twice a week. And now I'm going to once a week, starting next week, four more times. And then I'm done with the massage. And then I'm just gonna heal regularly, I suppose, right? That's how it goes. 
So there's that update there. When I work out, just like the doctor said, I do swell. That is a fact. My ankles and my hands, my feet are swollen. Yeah, my feet are swollen. Uh, my tummy a little bit. I'm getting a little bit of swelling right here. And yesterday I noticed that I didn't get to work out yesterday because I, what I had to do, I had things to do so I couldn't make it work in my schedule. I did put my silicone thing inside here even though I had on my pants because anything anything that cinches me in will make my belly button close in granted it's not at a point where it's going to close in and be stuck but I don't want it to do that because I don't want a belly button that looks like a line I want it to be a hole so I just put this in to come home and I can't you can't really even feel it so I'm gonna take this out and then shower and the belly button is dark because of PIH post well not even PIH it's not inflamed well I guess it was inflamed but it's dark because I had surgery so it's skin that's healed that is looking dark when we have a when we have a pimple a scar a scratch anything if you have brown skin you're going to heal with a dark spot and then it'll lighten up over time just FYI there as to why the belly button looks so dark it's healing you feel me even when we do microblading on the brows when it heals it's what black it's dark. All right, so I'm in the shower and then I have therapy. And yes, I'm looking at myself in the mirror because what else am I supposed to do? <laughs> Listen, not me snoring. I just snorted. <laughs> So can we talk about grown woman business? So I have a friend that I met at church many years ago and we were really close. And then we, for one reason or another, drifted off. And honestly, there was no hard feelings. There was nothing offensive that was done to either of us. We just drifted. You know how you drift with somebody and you really don't even know what happened, but then nobody makes a a really concerted a real concerted effort to fix it so you just go about your life and it just is what it is well that is what happened between she and I and then we tried to reconcile and then that didn't work because it was weird they had already just felt weird right this was years ago and of course COVID didn't help anything and then more recently we have reconciled again and it just goes to show that in my big at my big age okay in these adult streets that sometimes you just need to one recognize that something wasn't done right it wasn't done right in the sense that if this is a valuable relationship to me why did I allow it to just fall by the wayside yeah there was some misunderstandings which I recognized the first time that we tried to reconcile and then recognized the second time that we reconciled that there were just a lot of misunderstandings my hair I'm not sure if the curls look it, ooh, wow, not you swerving in the street at this time of day. And again, at our big ages, it's like, listen, I am very sorry that I did not try harder for us to reconcile. And even she was able to recognize the same thing. Because like I said, it, there wasn't anything egregious done, literally. And even in our distance, it was all love, right? But it was just awkward because it was like, man, we used to be so close and we're not now. Like, what does this mean, you know? So I say all this because we are about to get together right now for lunch and it's been years. It's been years and I'm excited. This is all washed out. I'm excited about it because, you know, why not? I'm, I'm really tired today. I have cramps. I really just want to lay in the bed. But we're going to go meet up and just chit chat and catch up and I'm going to just head to the crib. I really was supposed to film you know like i had all these plans but i'm 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 working on doing better to just listen to my body and i just had to listen to my body and recognize that i don't, I don't feel really well today i just need to i just need to chill so anyway i'm gonna go home and just chill today i i have work to do so we'll see if i can pull myself together to do some of the work if not at least i look cute you know that always does something for the kid you feel me at least i look cute and let me just say i really do appreciate and love 
all the comments when y'all big me up essentially about being transparent and being honest and sharing and just motivating and all of that you know i don't get on here to be like let me motivate the people it just comes out and i just am so happy that god has allowed me to be so confident to just be freaking me just be freaking me and that being me is interesting enough for you to watch because I was even saying in a comment that it's easy to feel the pressure to feel like I have to entertain or that other people need to entertain in order to get the engagement and the views and to do their job you got to be an entertainer but I refuse to allow myself to feel like I need to be an entertainer I just am myself and if myself is entertaining then let the entertaining be natural. So, if the if the entertaining can be natural, then no, uh, it's just it just comes out. You feel me? When the entertaining has to be something that you have like arranged and all this, it's just so tacky. You get what I'm saying? So, I'm just so grateful that I ain't gotta do all of that. But I won't lie, like I said, sometimes the pressure do be on a little bit. Like, is that vlog even interesting? Like, is that video gonna even do good? But I always just shoot those thoughts down. I just shoot them down because then I'm no 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 chill 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 I need to just be my like I just need to be myself and if that is going to be entertaining enough then you gonna watch you know what I'm saying and if not that's okay too that's okay too because I'm not for everybody but clearly you're here now you're here now because clearly you are one of the bodies you are one of the people that finds it entertaining. And this is just natural. Listen, the personalities be coming out. The personalities be coming out. And when they come out, y'all be thinking it's mad funny. <laughs> you know? And uh, <laughs> I mean, it is, I guess. It is when I look back. <laughs> when I edit the videos, I be like, okay, I, I, can, I can understand. I, I, I can understand why you guys laugh. <laughs> Cause I laugh too. You know, I laugh too. So I don't the one thing I don't like is odor. I don't like odor of any kind. And I'm driving. I showered this morning. Usually I shower before I go to the gym because it just wakes me up. And I just love to smell good. I just love to always smell good things around me. In my car, in my house, on my body, everywhere. I need everyone and everything to smell good. I just like it. It just makes me happy. You know, once you identify the things that make you happy, it'd be a, you'd be a fool not to do them. Like... For me, setting my candles, opening my blinds. The minute I see a peak of daylight, I'm opening all the blinds. I'm keeping them open until sundown. I I like daylight in the house. I like scents all around me. It just makes me happy. Whenever I catch a scent, I smile, literally. So I'm driving and I'm like, I showered this morning. What 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 one? You know, what was what's tea? What's 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 going on? You know, I'm thinking, is something not right? Because you can shower if you don't know. And still smell and it's because the bacteria the odor causing bacteria is still on your skin now we have healthy bacteria that just lives on our skin we need that right but you want to get the odor causing bacteria out because when it interacts with sweat then you get body odor so even though I've showered, I had the heat on, my armpits are sweating a little bit, and my armpits always sweat. Like, this just is a thing. And I was even watching a video where I learned that even if you're not working out, you can still sweat because let's say you're anxious or nervous or whatever, that does happen, right? Thank God I don't have hyperhydrosis. I don't have sweaty palms and feet. Just my armpits be hyperactive. You feel what I'm saying? And that's normal. I'm not, it doesn't bother me. I just always say it because it's funny. I don't, I don't care. So I say, so I was driving and I'm like, mm, my armpits are a little bit moist on this side, but I showered and I put on my deodorant, so I'm thinking, and it's an antiperspirant, so I'm thinking, what the heck, and you know, if you don't, that there's a difference between antiperspirant and deodorant. So antiperspirant is to avoid the perspiration to prevent you from sweating, kinda. Like, is it a magic cream? No. And then deodorant is to prevent the odor. So what it is, is it's masking the scent. The odor, excuse me. Scent is good, odor is bad. So when you have an antiperspirant deodorant, it's supposed to do both. But you'll find that sometimes the product is just an antiperspirant or just a deodorant. I'm emphasizing so that it's clear, right? Well, the spray that I used is both an antiperspirant and a deodorant. Obviously, it ain't magic. I'm still sweating, you feel me? And that's fine. But I'm saying all this because I was driving and I'm like, what, what is that? My sense of smell is very strong. Very, very strong. I catch everything, okay? So I'm like, what's going on? And back to what I was saying, 
when you can shower and everything and be like, still be like, what is that? You know what I'm saying? I remember years ago when I had gone to Essence. I mean, I was showering and I kept being like, what's happening here? And it was Essence, sweaty season in New Orleans. And it was a whole bacteria thing. And that's why I do my BHA situations because it is a game changer. Ah, DK, ah, if you know, you know. It's a game changer. So I did that today in my groin area, but I recognized that this morning I did not do it in my armpits. So as I was driving, I'm like, is it my armpit that still has bacteria on it that is causing the odor? Because I am sweating a little bit, the heat is on. And I'm thinking, oh my God, that's annoying because I don't ever want to smell ever. I don't like any kind of odor. So that's why I was doing this. Long story, I had to explain because it's important. My armpits smell fine, so it's not my armpits. I don't know what it is. I'm smelling everything. <laughs> I, I explain that because it's very, very important. It's very, very important. It's very, very important. I feel I find that way too many of us, men and women, take for granted the fact that we need to smell good. Like your mouth, your body, everything needs to smell good. I don't care how much you shower. You can shower and shower and shower and shower and still have B.O. Like, have you comment below if, if you're courageous enough? You don't have to because I say it. I say it because I don't care. I say it because I want to help y'all. And I say it because once I figured out the plug, I was like, oh, they need to know. Like, everyone needs to know. Everyone's who's going to know? They're all going to know. <laughs> everyone needs to know. You dig? It's very, very important. Freaking lash glue left over. I hate that. Like even when I, every time I go to my dentist for a cleaning, the, the dental, I, what are they called? Dental tech, they're always like, wow, you make my job so easy. I don't really have to do much. I can tell that you take care of your teeth. And I'm like, praise be, I do, because it's very important to me. I ain't got time. There were years and years and years and years where every time I would go, whenever they would do my cleaning, it was like friggin', they were building a house, you feel me? It was just too much. And these days, mm-mm, mm-mm, no. No, 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 no. It's just, it's very, very important. We have to care about all the things, right? We have to care about all the things. So get your body odors in order. And it happens, like it happens. I'm saying it, I'm laughing because it happens. It's natural. We got to discuss the natural things and body odor is natural. That's why every day I have to remind myself, like, let me use my BHA, which is just a product that has BHA in it, which is salicylic acid. Any product that I have in my house that is for my skincare that has BHA in it, I will just use it on my groin and my armpits. And it kicks that thing in the butt you feel me and then you go about your business you feel me and that's something that is just so important in the cold weather and the hot weather especially in the hot weather especially okay praise the lord i'm about to go in the gym be my coffee at home today and it's looking like milk <laughs> does your does your milk have coffee in it or does your coffee have milk in it which one because me my milk has coffee in it you feel me and that's how i do it and even when i was getting my cleaning she was like oh you just ha huh? some stains right here do you drink coffee i was like yeah i need to whiten I need, and i i do i need to touch my whitening i have not whitened it over a year and i can't lie it's because i mean it's not that bad but it is it is bad when i look close i'm like yo there's a light there's a light yellow tint to it you might be looking being like excuse me what but there's a light yellow tint to it and it needs to be white like i want my teeth white you know so they give me some more whitening situations because I do have the customized tray from my dentist, which if you don't have one, ask your dentist. You might be able to get one. And they make you a customized tray. You put the gel inside and you're on your way to white teeth, you know? Oh, that you you guys, did y'all see? Y'all see when, y'all see. Y'all saw when the mom came, when she was here, when I had the surgery, I, I took her to get her first ever teeth whitening in 67 years. Wow. Her teeth were so much whiter. They're not white, but they were so much lighter. Oh, she was so happy. She's so happy that she goes, oh, so when I come again, we're going to get whitening again. I said, what, again? She was like, oh, I'm just asking, why not? I'm like, okay. So I'm going to see if they're running a special again because there was a special they were doing. That was so funny. I'm like, not you loving your teeth being white. You know, she's she's been a long time smoker, so she's never, I guess, seen her teeth so white. So she was very happy. I just love being able to treat her. I'm, I'm rambling. I hope that you're, <laughs> you're still watching. I just spent all this time talking to you and I turned to the back seat. You, look at what is here. Hey, Nini. Uh uh. Please. Yo, we got freaking stale. <laughs> Yo, we got trash in the back. Got rotten food. My, my goodness gracious, my God. No wonder. 
Hey, Jesus, Lamb of God, Mike, I told you, I told you I was smelling something. It wasn't me. You feel me? Look at that. Not me smelling something, and the whole time is rotten mangoes and, blue, and a blueberry. And a blueberry. Ah, a blueberry. You got to emphasize. Not me. I can't even do it. I told you. I told you. I knew it. There it is. Came up on the this is before the 2020 lens. national. Hey, what the hell y'all doing? Huh? Look, you don't stop till I tell you to stop. Let's go. Let's go. Move it now. <laughs> Excuse me. I am loving this freaking lens. What? Wow. What have I been doing wrong? Linking it below. This wide angle lens? Wow, just amazing. Look at how much you can see in the car. What in the world? Oh my God. Okay, so I'm going to have lunch with a girlfriend of mine and I'm looking good, smelling good. Did a whole get ready with me in a separate video. So stay tuned for that. I'm wearing this dress that I wore in my my Valentine's Day haul. Cause you know, you do the haul, but you still gotta wear the outfits, you feel me? So we're doing that. And it's a nice day outside today. I can't lie, I've gotten rid of 80% of my wardrobe, so I don't have stuff. I have either unitards and loungewear or like this, these 10 outfits that I did the haul on recently and just like some winter stuff that still fit me, jackets and stuff. But as far as clothes are concerned, I don't have clothes. This is so crazy. So haul's coming soon for sure. And I have to be very dressed up today, which I'm not, this is all bunched up. I'm not I'm not mad at. I like to be dressed up and fancy and that's okay. We are going to a fancy place. I mean, this I would wear more so in the evening, but again, I ain't got no choice because I don't really have clothes and I wasn't gonna come up here in a unitard, hello. So, <laughs> and these shoes that I have on, I bought like last year sometime. Anyway, I'll link what I can dupe below. Oh my God, I hate this. This is the second time in my life I've come to this area and they ain't doing no daggone valet because they're packed. What? Oh, that is so terrible. I mean, my heels today are not bad. They're giving three and a half inches, maybe 3.75. I don't know. So I'm okay to go in this parking lot, but that ain't what I wanted. <laughs> you know me. I like valet. What the hell? Oh, this is not it. So now I gotta go to the parking lot. What? Oh, that is so terrible. I hate the whole thing. Let's see what this. Oh, I hate that. Let's see what he's saying. Hi. Oh. Yeah. Oh. God. Oh. Thank you. This guy over here on the phone, do you want to help me stretch my arm out and give me a ticket? <laughs> like, can you help me, sir? My arm is just like, what? Oh my gosh, I gotta park in the parking lot. Who does that? <laughs> Not me all spoiled. Like, I don't wanna be in the parking lot. I wanna do valet. Ugh. And what kills it is that it doesn't mean that they're not gonna have valet for the whole day. It's just right now. So when they when they free up, they're gonna have valet. Like the last time this happened, as we were sitting there, I saw it, all of a sudden they began valet again. It's like what? <laughs> they need folks to leave in order to have the the Capacity to do it. Ho, ho. Why not even cheap? Dang, yo. You don't wear high heels to come park in the parking lot. I mean, am I wrong? What the hell? Look at these vehicles. Look at these Porsches. Porsches. Hi, Porsches. Valet only. You got one spot right here. Y'all be playing games. You only want to valet nice cars. I mean, if that's the case, just say it. Be honest. The hell? My car's nice too, though. This is what she's giving. Exclusive.
This is such a cute place. I'm here with Danielle having a, a nice girls Sunday brunch day. I don't know what you call it. <laughs> a mixture. And we're on our way now to the Sioux after leaving Toulouse. We got a slingshot. I want to drive a slingshot actually. Just because. You want to get one? 20K girl. It's not, it's not too horrific, no. 